This is the second section of the exponentials and logarithms chapter. And this is about the exponential e to the x. Now, here are some graphs um, of different what we call bases. So 3, 2, and 1.5. There is a graph where if I draw it, it would be round about here, somewhere in between the um, 2 to the power x and 3 to the power x. And what we would find is that it would be something like y equals 2.71 to the power x. What's special about this graph is that the gradient of the graph at x is the same as its y value. Now what do I mean by that? Okay, let's take a point here. Yeah, and I let's say I work to its gradient. And let's say at that point, just for just making something up, let's say that the y value was 10, then the gradient at that point would be 10. Okay, let's take a point here. I'm making these numbers up, they may not be right. Let's say at this point the gradient was, or the y value is 5, the gradient would be 5. So this is what I mean by its y value is the same as the gradient. And this special number uh, which is approximately 2.71 okay is e the exponential okay so it's like pi in that this special number is given its own letter okay so where we know pi is 3.141 and so on e is 2.718 Okay, it's one of these numbers that goes on forever, so it's irrational. So doesn't mean it's crazy. It just means that it goes on forever uh, without repeating. Yes, yeah, so that's like pi. And what's special about this number is that if we do uh, y equals e to the x, then the gradient is the same as e to the x so whatever the y value is that's the same value of the gradient that's this special exponential graph where there's this link between its y value and the gradient right there's some questions here where we need to differentiate each one with respect to x now you'll learn more about differentiating these types of functions next year, but let's start. If y equals e to the x, then dy dx is e to the x. If y equals e to the um, f of x, so you've got some sort of function there, then dy dx is equal to f dash of x times e to the f of x eg if i had y equals e to the 5x then dy dx would be well if i diff so in this case f of x is 5x so f dash of x would be 5 e to the 5x so notice how the power doesn't change I'm going to use that rule to help us do these. So a y equals e to the 4x. So in this case, f of x is 4x. So dy dx is going to be f dash of x 4 times e to the 4x. The second one, y equals e to the negative half x. So here, 
f of x is negative a half x. That differentiated becomes negative a half. And then e to the negative half x, so the power doesn't change. And then c, y equals three lots of e to the 2x. Okay, so whatever we do, when we work out dy dx, it's going to get times by 3. So we'll put the 3 there. 3 times. Then the power f of x is 2x. That differentiated is 2 times by e to the 2x. Again, the power doesn't change. So that gives us 6e to the 2x. Okay, let's sketch each one of these. So these are just exponentials. So they're going to curve upwards or downwards, depending on the power. So e to the 2x is going to like go like that, where we have an asymptote here on the x-axis. We just need to work out where it crosses here. And all exponentials, unless they move up or down, cross up 1. And we'll just check, because it can be um, at x equals 0, y equals e to the 2 times 0 which is e to the 0, which is 1. Okay, so at x equals 0, it crosses at 1, which is what we'd expect b. Let's do a sketch of this one. Okay, now we've got a negative x for a power, which means it goes down. And because it's 10, it's going to go down quite steeply. So it's going to be something like this. Again, asymptotes here as with all exponentials we just want to work out where it crosses the uh, axis here so again we look at, at x equals 0 we plug that in y equals 10 e to the negative 0 okay that's going to be 10 times 1 which is 10 so it's going to cross the um, y-axis at 10 just put these in and then part C and do the same thing again now there's a couple of things going on here um, now the thing that's probably going to make the biggest difference is this plus 3 here this that's going to move your whole graph up by 3 so we're going to have an asymptote not at 0 but at 3 um, the power is still positive, so it's going to shoot up from there like that. So it's going to be that type of shape. The four, you can't really tell what difference it makes from the from the sketch. And we want to work out where it crosses the axis there. So again, at x equals zero, we're going to have y equals three plus four times e to the half times zero. That's basically one. So you've got y equals 3 plus 4 times 1. So you've got y equals 7. So it's going to cross that y-axis at 7. And the asymptote there at 3. Okay, right, you should now be able to do exercise 14b on pages 316 to 317. Um, just remind you about the exponential e to the x where dy dx equals e to the x if you've got y equals e to a function of x then dy dx is f dash of x times by e to the f of x as i said you'll learn more about this um, next year why it's that it's called something called a chain rule if you're interested i've got videos on it so if you want to look for the year 13 video on the chain rule okay you can use that you can watch that get a year ahead of everyone else and uh, yeah the sketches of these exponential graphs so in this way when you've got um, a positive power um, and the other way when you've got like a negative power